to see everybody tonight. We're going to go ahead and get started. And uh, I know that you're going to be greatly blessed by all of this. And uh, let's uh, open up in a word of prayer. And then we're going to turn it over to Miss Diana and the choir. Let's pray. Jesus, we love you. And Lord, uh, we thank you so much for loving us. Father, our prayer tonight is simply that you would be glorified and honored. Lord, we're not trying to entertain anybody. Lord, we just want to tell the Christmas story in a different way. And uh, Lord, as we do, I pray all of us would leave here closer to you, Lord, uh, as we go than when we came in. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the greatest story ever told. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Bethlehem, just a small Judean village, indistinguishable from the many other towns which dotted the hillsides around Jerusalem. It was an ordinary village filled with ordinary people, yet in this lowly setting, the God of all creation had planned an extraordinary event that would change the world forever. Bethlehem, where God himself, in the form of a baby, was born in a dirty cattle stall. Such an humble beginning for the king of the universe, yet he chose to come as one of us to meet man as man. That meeting in a manger in Bethlehem would decide the destiny of every man.
that transformed her humble expectations into divine destiny. For the angel said to her, Fear not, for behold, thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and shalt bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. Song of joy that I can. 
condition, Joseph, being a just man and not wanting to disgrace her, decided to put her away privately. With much anguish of heart, he prepared himself for the painful task. Hurt and alone, there seemed to be no hope, no escape from the despair that overwhelmed him. All that you had somehow has vanished. All that you had somewhere went wrong. And now you feel like the hope is gone. For all that you had seems like a left you cold, coming from your dark despair, for God is waiting there, safe in his arms, there is a rest. 
Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. So Joseph did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him. And it came to pass that there went out a decree from Caesar and Augustus that all the world should be taxed. So Joseph went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, unto Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger. For there was no room for them in the inn. Peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. 
place of God and man. It was the means by which a holy God took the form of a man so that we might touch him, walk, talk to him, hear his voice, see him cry, and experience his great love for us. He wants us to know him. Jesus said, If you knew me, you would know my Father also. For I and my Father are one. God, in the person of Jesus Christ, was born in that manger in Bethlehem so that he might live among us as one of us. And while he lived among us, he showed us God's love and compassion and his infinite ability to meet our every need. In his 33 years on this earth, he never once turned his back on someone in need. Are you needing something tonight? Maybe like Joseph, your heart is breaking from disappointment or loneliness. Maybe you, too, are facing an impossible situation from which you can see no way out. Whatever your need, Jesus knows what you're feeling and wants to meet your need. You may be comfortable and content and think you have all you need, yet there is still one thing you lack. The Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You see, there is a great gulf between you and God. For God is holy, and we by nature are wicked and sinful, and in need of a Savior. Savior. Wasn't that the marvelous message of the angel to the shepherds? For, I be, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city to David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Jesus Christ was born in that manger in Bethlehem to be your Savior. He came so that you might know Him personally. As we celebrate His coming, He invites you right now to meet Him at the manger.